Hi, this is Ferdinand from Cube Training. In this segment, we're going to see intruder alarm systems. What is an intruder alarm system? Intruder alarm system monitors and detects any unauthorized access. It also alerts homeowners or an authorized third party. Why bother installing intruder alarm system? Intruder alarm system is the best deterrent for burglars. Only 10% of the UK residential market is protected by intruder alarm system. Therefore, there is a huge opportunity for you to grow your business in residential intruder alarm system market. In this video segment, we're going to show you how to install a basic passive infrared detector. Now we're going to see how to wire a PAR. Now this is a Honeywell PAR grade 2 one. So what I have here is I've got Honeywell grade 2 PAR, alarm cable and I also got resistors. Uh, what I'm using here is I'm using 1K resistors here. Um, let's see how the wiring happens here. Uh, first of all, you need to get familiar with the terminals. So we call them terminals. Um, so this is a great, as I said, it's a great two system. So the first one is T2, which we call tamper, and T1. Um, then you have NC, normally close. Now C is your common. Then you got uh, V minus and V plus, which is your voltage ground, and then the positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the standard colors so I'm going to use red and black for uh, power and then I'm going to use then uh, blue and yellow for um, my alarm so I'm going to use end of line so I only need two cables so I'm using blue one for alarm and then the yellow one for tamper uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to join these two resistors so uh, these two resistors um, are used one used for uh, alarm, one used for tamper. Uh, they're 1K, 1K each. So I'm just going to join them together. Now you can buy um, PARs with inbuilt resistors. Uh, it will be much easier to install them. But what I'm using is PAR where you need to uh, manually um, in, uh, insert resistors. So I've got the resistors sort of, you know, um, twisted together. I'm twisting the legs together here. So what I'm doing here is um, the twisted uh, two resistor legs that goes into common. Um, then I've got one resistor that goes to NC. That's your normally close. And I've got one resistor that's going to go to T1. That's your tamper terminal. Now remember, if you see NC and C, you have to put the twisted leg into C, not NC. And NC is what you're going to later use uh, to connect with your alarm cable. So I'm using, as I said before, I'm going to use blue color for alarm cable. So the blue color cable will now go to NC. Remember, that will not go to C. It would go now I've got that one connected to NC. The next thing to do is to connect your tamper. So tamper cable is yellow color one. Then I'm going to connect that to T2. Now I can go on T1, doesn't matter. But I need to go on the terminal where you don't have the resistant leg. So if I want to go on T1, the resistor leg, then should go to T2. Since the resistor leg is already connected on T1, I'm going to use T2 here, right? Now you could see that I've connected uh, my four cables. Uh, black one goes to V minus, red one goes to V plus, and the blue one goes to NC, and the yellow one goes to T2. And I've got resistors that goes from NC to C, then C to T1. So C is my common. And make sure these resistors don't touch each other. Uh, that could cause uh, different reading. So this is how you do uh, end of line wiring. We really hope that you enjoy this video segment. Until we see you in another video segment, bye from Ferdinand. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also visit our website at www.cctvdvrsystem.co.uk. Thank you. Bye-bye.